the is actually really exciting. Lots of different use cases. Um, I think seeing the spread, different areas where AI and ML is being used across the financial sector is really interesting. Um, I think the kind of message coming out around how you can utilize open source technology in the cloud in lots of different ways and kind of tailor it to your own needs, but start with something rather than starting from scratch. That's probably my big take. Well, I think there's a lot of um, key businesses embracing artificial intelligence. It's not something scary anymore. It's actually something that we can use to make the lives easier or business um, more efficient. I think what was sort of crystal clear is that um, standing still is not an option. Um, competitors are here, clients are here, everyone is looking at this is uh, not just a digital change but actually the, the way forward. Um, so I think there was a variety of different ways, everything from the email innovation all the way to sort of data and using the visual. So it was very interactive, it was very clear to see. I think from now it's so how do we how do we start to, to start to use it? My take out is the potential possibilities. There are a solution for a lot of things, but actually how can you put it into the banking um, environment? Um, yeah, there's definitely food for, food for thought to see what's out there. Yeah, I think the, the scope of uh, options for the future is, is really, really promising. It's fantastic to see the um, Google Cloud Platform being available and making those cognitive APIs available. Democratization is, is great to see. So I think, uh, I think it's been a really great event actually. I've really enjoyed seeing some of the uh, new technologies. Adoption of all the Google components, I think that's really good. Um, I certainly, from our business, I'm interested in looking at some of the use cases from the solutions that have already been built that could work for us. Things like um, transactional uh, failings around uh, trade mismatches, looking at the sentiment around uh, you know, why trades might have failed to match automatically. We have uh, in our organisation a huge number of faxes that come in, so looking at some of the OCR capabilities to read that is, um, is something I'm very interested to, to ask as well. My, I run a team already that do sort of play around in this area, um, but I think one of the things that's kind of fun from these events is you meet different people, talk about different sort of different angles, different sort of use cases, different things that people have tried, um, and also um, get a sense of the kind of the real breadth of stuff that you can kind of play around and, 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 and kind of do. And it was great having the, the guy from Bankia here who kind of explained you know, how he's running his innovation hub and then how is he partnered with GFT, which is a good, good example of how, kind of, how stuff can, can work. Our business is about exchange traded funds, which has been a disruptor for the fund industry. And, you know, part of being a disruptor is being able to access disruptive technology and to integrate that in to service our clients and to um, introduce scalability, cost efficiency, but also use that to find growth in new distribution channels. Lots of documents, yes, we do need lots of analysis. Um, also, we've got lots of processes that need automating as well that we can, I think, apply, uh, in particular turning unstructured data like emails, chat, that sort of thing, into structured actions that can be automated is a big deal. Some of the solutions that they would be talked as if it was such an easy thing to do, whereas you know, the email one, for example, it's something that we, every single person has, and I, and I grapple with this every day. So to think there is something out there that you can do it, then yeah, sure, why would you not try and try and get up, get a hold of it?